This is Twit. To our listeners who are, or maybe, you know, uh, well, yeah, are, are, we know we have listeners of all ages. We have people who say, hey, how do I get started in security? I, I want to, you know, I want to consider a career. What do I do? Or maybe you've got some free time. Maybe you're living with your folks or you're in high school and uh, uh, and you're well, thinking it'd be fun to see if you could uh, earn some extra cash on the side. It is truly possible to have a career if you're good in bug as a bug as a bug hunter and getting bug bounties. Uh, I've got in the in the uh, it was just a it was a picture that was uh, covered in Hacker One's posting. We have a picture of 19-year-old Santiago Lopez, who has just crossed the one million dollar mark from purely one million U.S. dollars. He is the first bug bounty hunter millionaire just from finding and reporting security vulnerabilities through Hacker One's bug bounty program. I, I noted at the top of the show that we don't know if maybe he's made actually more money than that because he sold some really tasty ones to Zimperium. Who knows? Um, he's got a, an interesting Twitter feed. I, I would commend people to go poke at. I've got a link in the show notes also. Uh, and last... Friday, March 1st, the BBC ran an interview with Santiago titled How One Teenager is Making Millions by Hacking Legally. Uh, their byline said, this, or their, their little summary said, this 19-year-old Santiago Lopez from Argent, uh, this is, sorry, 19-year-old Santiago Lopez from Argentina. Do I have a problem pronouncing that? Argentina. Argentina. Gee, yeah. It's got one more syllable in it. It's supposed to Argentina. Thank you, Leo. He's the first million. He's the first millionaire bug bounty hacker, which means he gets paid. To, this is the BBC's talking. Of course, we all know what they are. Gets paid to find glitches in the software of some of the world's biggest companies. Mr. Lopez made his money on the world's biggest ethical hacking platform, HackerOne. BBC News Joe Tidy has been, has been to see how he spends the money, thus the BBC story that I think our listeners may find interesting. And I have a, a, a link, as I said, to that in the show notes. And also, HackerOne did a report uh, – uh, published on February 1st, so a little over a month ago, they said today the HackerOne community hit $45 million in bounty payouts. Join us as we celebrate the hackers who are making the Internet a safer place every single day. The party is going to last the whole way to a history-making 50 million in bounty payouts. And in their, in this posting that I have, or their PDF that I have a link to, they started off by, by defining hacker. So they show, you know, hacker and how it's pronounced phonetically, declaring it to be a noun. And for their definition, which I really liked, they said, one who enjoys the intellectual challenge of creatively overcoming limitations. And I think that's a great definition of a hacker. One who enjoys the intellectual challenge of creatively overcoming limitations. And again, I would commend this report to our listeners who might be interested. They have, they have a lot of, of, of like bios and, uh, and details about the hackers. I'll share, I'll share just the top of it. They said, welcome to the age of the hacker. Hackers are heroes. They're in it for the good, and there is more opportunity than ever before. We share some of their stories and celebrate their impact in this, the third annual Hacker Report. The Hacker Report details the more than 300,000 individuals that represent our hacker community today. It highlights where hackers live, what motivates them, and what their favorite hacking targets and tools are, where they learn, 
why they collaborate, and much more. In 2018 alone, hackers earned more than $19 million in bounties, almost the entire amount awarded in the years prior combined. So it's on a ramp. And while the most successful find it very lucrative, it's about so much more than money. Many are finding career-building opportunities through bug bounties, which companies hiring from with bug bounties with companies hiring from within the hacker community at a faster clip than ever before. And that's a point I've made. Um, like there are some very beautiful uh, pieces of work where I've thought to myself, boy, you know, if I were in the hiring business still, I'd ask this person for a job. They are good. They say companies are utilizing bug bounty reports and hacker engagement as an enhanced resume of proven skills that will impact company goals and security efforts from day one. The generosity and camaraderie of hackers continues to impress with more effort emphasis than ever before on education, collaboration, and giving back. As hacking grows in popularity, training continues to be a focus, with more than 600 hackers joining, registering to join the ranks at any given day. In-depth training modules such as Hacker One capture, capture the Flag challenges are in demand. They say the past year, we saw incredible individual performances such as hackers earning $100,000 for one vulnerability and the first hacker, Santiago, passing the $1 million milestone, $1 million milestone. We also saw unmatched collaboration while hackers acting as teams to report over 250 valid customer vulnerabilities. They say hackers represent a global force for good, coming together to help address the growing security needs of our increasingly interconnected society. The community welcomes all who enjoy the intellectual challenge to creatively overcome limitations. Their reasons for hacking may vary, but the results are consistently impressing the growing ranks of organizations embracing hackers through hacker-powered security. I like that, hacker-powered security, leaving us all a lot safer than before. Um, and they did note that top earners, top hacker earners, can make up to 40 times the median annual wage of a software engineer in their home country, respectively. So uh, I, I think what we're seeing is we're seeing a sea change here. Hacker-powered security. Uh, and, you know, if you've got skills with a Z... I think you ought to consider it. Where does Hacker uh, One these, get its money from? Uh, do private uh, they're, enterprises they're, they're, hire them? Yes. So, so bounties are posted by like GE and and Tesla and others to say we we are formally inviting people to try to find problems in our products, and if found, we will pay. Yeah, but. Why go through Hacker One? Why not just go directly to GE? Does Hacker One keep a cut? There, no. Well, they 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 do keep a small cut, but they're a clearinghouse, and, and, and they so so they've got the hackers registered with them, and they're able to then post uh, opportunities ah. of for, of like you know here are things that GE would be interested in having you attempt to find vulnerabilities in, and and here are the payouts. For from GE on various classes of vulnerabilities that you find, Got it. and they keep yeah, so, five percent so, or something so, for that service. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And so, so, so they're like the the clearinghouse, and they put the hackers together with those uh, offering bounties to have their basically hacker powered security, have their security tested and improved. Hmm. I just think it's it's a win. It's a brilliant I can totally, business idea, actually, on totally their part. Totally see, yes, totally see that for the, the right kind of guy who's, you know, eclectic and doesn't want to work for the man and, 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 you know, has faith and confidence in their own skills, it's something you could start part-time while you're, you know, in high school or going through college, see if you've got what it takes, 
Uh, and just like this podcast that is not running out of material, Lord knows, we're at the two hour and nine minute mark at this point. So it is very clear the world is not going to run out of bugs ever. <laughs>